All right, you guys, this is one of my upcoming brides. She had this crazy idea that I've never been asked to do before, and I love a good challenge. I think it keeps things so interesting. It keeps me learning on my toes, etc. So her vision was to have a half up, half down style when the end of the ceremony, the actual like party begins. But for the ceremony and for the you know, monumental and photos and just the whole night up until the party. She wanted to have a really chic bun. She was like, I would love if I could have my bun and then miraculously the bun comes out and I have my half up, half down. I was like, listen, I've never done this before. <laughs> I want to make this happen for you. She almost talked me out of even trying. And I told her, I was like, there's no way that we couldn't make it happen. She has a cousin who's a hairstylist who's gonna be at the wedding. I'm like, at the very least, bring a curling iron and we'll figure this out. Let me know how the trial goes though and we'll make a determination based on how it is successfully taken down on your own time. So we're starting with her half up, half down, naturally. The reason that I'm doing the curls a little bit effortless right here is because our main goal was to do the bun because if the half up, half down doesn't work, She's fairly confident that she's gonna lean on the side of just doing the bun to keep it up. Her dress and the attire that she's wearing with it, veil, etc. It's very bold and the bun would just be the most complimentary hairstyle. So that's why the curls aren't necessarily given the most attention here. Um, but even if she was to do the half up, half down, I told her, you know, the wave would be your best option, especially if you're gonna have to do touch-ups yourself. So we crimped to get volume at the root. We did pull the sides back to cover the band and she absolutely loved this. I think that this is very simple, very chic. It's gorgeous. Her venue literally has like columns. It is a very chic venue and this matches that energy. So next I'm going right into our bun from this setup, which honestly you could prep your bun very similarly and get the same result if you're going for a very clean texture, sleek sides kind of look. So this is kind of like a two in one regardless of how you do it. But from here, I'm taking my Velvet Styling Cream from Kenra, which I love so much. I'm running that through the ends of her hair to create sleekness throughout the hair so that when we go to do this bun, everything is laid nice and smooth. I am literally taking the half up, half down, creating my center of the bun, and then just sweeping from underneath the neck and pinning. As you can see, you could really overcomplicate this, and I really didn't want to do that. So taking those pieces and using the whole thing to my advantage, she was okay with the bun being a little higher up if that meant we could accomplish her overall goal. And from here, I'm just pinning, pulling, pinning, pulling to create volume, to create movement, and to really secure the bun. And from here, we're both in love. This is pretty much our end result. I end up spraying my flyaways naturally. And essentially, this is what she wanted. So from here, Honestly, it's just up to her and whether or not she feels confident in being able to take this down, but I think that this style is really gorgeous and she pulls it off so beautifully and it matches her dress, her venue, and her vibe. 